Hey guys, CB Super. Um, so about a week and a half ago, I had put out this video, Closed Motion Paths, where I show you how to take a regular polygon and turn that into a closed motion path or an ellipse. Um, and the reason was because the normal ellipse mask does not allow you to turn it into a motion path. So I, I went through this long process where I basically curve it into the actual shape of, <laughs> of an ellipse. So that works. And then you can also recall it. And I'll show you how to do that really quickly. But Transform X just commented and said, there's an easier way. Um, just select that polygon node, and then you can actually create an ellipse inside of the textual messages. Um, you can also do this with a rectangle. Um, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. And that's awesome. Thank you so much, TransformX, for, for, for pointing that out because that is, in my opinion, it is, a, it is quite a bit faster and it's also more accurate. You're going to get a much more accurate um, polygon. So let me show you how I did mine. My polygon, the way that you do it is once you get a polygon out, all you have to do is right click, go to settings, load, and then you can just load up wherever, you know, whatever preloaded settings you already have. So you'll see now we have this um, this polygon, and you can still um, you can still size it up and size it down. But let me show you his way, which is quite a bit faster. Well, I don't know if I'd say it's faster, but it's definitely more accurate. You're going to get a much more accurate circle because ours is based off of you know us messing with those tangent handles. So all you have to do is load the polygon into the viewer, right click, go down to the polygon polyline come over to this other right section and then come up to create and you can create the ellipse. This uh, pop-up window is going to pop up and it's going to say, okay, what would you like your width and height to be? You can just go ahead and hit okay because you can still come over here and you can size it up and you can size it down. So you're going to have the exact same options of like sizing it up and sizing it down. The only difference is you'll notice that when we click on this uh, and we click on these tangent handles, like these tangent handles are perfectly lined up Right, so they're absolutely, this is a perfect circle, which is nice because it's a generated circle. Uh, you'll notice in our polyline, I mean, we can get it pretty close, right? But we're probably not going to be able to get it absolutely perfect, you know? So we come over here and we look at our tangent handles. You can tell that one's pretty close. Uh, that one's pretty close. That one's a little off. Um, and that one's not too bad. I mean, so like they're not terrible, but they're not perfect. So if you're looking for a perfect circle, um, that's definitely going to be a better way. You can also right click on it and say you don't like the ellipse You can come down here and you can create a rectangle And again, you can size it and you can size it up. You can size it down uh, You're still able to move it around um, So that's pretty cool. And then again, um, if you haven't watched the video on how to uh, you know, I like actually animate um, something along this to use a motion path. I'll show you how to do it really quickly. Um, all you're doing again is you're right clicking the shape animation. You're going to remove that polygon, right click it again, publish it. Now, say if we have this, uh, this other, say we have this other ellipse, and maybe we'll just attach it to a background real quick. And we'll color that background red. All right, so and maybe we'll just size this down a little bit. All right, so now we have this ellipse, and then uh, but we want to use this polygon as our motion path. Uh, well, again, all you have to do is you can come over. In this case, we can come over to the the ellipse center. We can right click, come over to path. Now come over to modifiers, right click, connect to polyline value, and now you'll notice that um, we are now connected to that that polygon. Um, it's just going to be. It's going to start off in probably wherever the actual polygon starts off. And then if you come over here, uh, back into the ellipse, come back over to the modifiers, uh, double click on the path, come down here, and you start playing with the displacement. And just click off that displacement. Now you'll notice that you can actually move along that path. And so that's moving along a motion path. And of course, you can animate that over time. Uh, uh, again, I showed how to do this in those other two videos. If you want to check those videos out, they'll be at the end of this video. And you can also just click up here in the little right hand side of the screen. You'll see uh, where those videos are if you want to go into further depth. But that's pretty much it right there. Um, so thank you so much, TransformX. That is a great tip. Um, I always tell people that I'm learning just as much from you guys as you guys are learning from me. 
Uh, so anytime you guys ever see something like a better way to do it, please put it out in the comments. Um, we're all growing together. It's just a big community and uh, we're all just here to learn. So again, dude, super, super great tip. Um, I'm definitely going to use that one for myself in the future, uh, at least for using an ellipse or a circle. Now, if you do make some kind of like specialized shape, um, say you want to make like, I don't know, like just this shape, right? And this is the shape that you're going to use all the time. Well, you may still want to use the uh, the closed motion patch shape just by easily putting it into you know your settings. You can save that as a setting, and then load it up later on. You just save it to wherever your settings are saved. I'm not going to save it because I don't want that. Um, and then you can recall that just by bringing in a polygon like we did in the first part of this uh, episode. So uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.